I have a Keurig coffee maker, which I really, really like. But of late, after I make a cup of coffee first thing in the morning, over here on the screen in this upright corner, I get a, a light, I guess it's an error message that says Prime. Obviously, there's not enough water getting from the reservoir down through the bottom, in through the pump, and then up to the top. I tried various things, read various things on YouTube and throughout the web. There's a, down here there's a, a valve. I cleaned it out thoroughly, poked up from underneath with a screwdriver, make sure water was flowing, and it was, no problem. Then under here, there's a bit of a screen that collects debris and there was some talk on the web that there may be some calcium buildups and whatever in there. There wasn't so because I could blow right through there. But I took off underneath, I took off the, the bottom portion. There's a metal plate under there, way underneath. I can't tip it now because I have water in the reservoir. And I took off that, that filter, that initial filter that goes to the pump blew through there and it's coming through fine so I really really could not fathom what was going on but I did find out that every time I took off the reservoir pulled it out it would fill with water and it would prime up and ready to go for the next one but having pulled it out I noticed a great deal of resistance you can probably maybe not but you can tell that hear that well what I feel that is is that this is making a very good seal around here causing almost an impenetrable seal particularly if there's a little water or whatever on here it's, it's like dampening a su suction cup so in order for, in my humble opinion, in order for, for water to get in through here and into the pump, warmed and back up here to be shot through the K-cup, something has to go in here and that in here. And that something, of course, is air. If this is placed in there, fully up against there, there's such a seal created that air cannot get in there to replace the water that's being sucked into the machine, therefore creating a vacuum. Uh, obviously a number of ways to, to get around this. Uh, one way is to just take the top off, set it on gently if you like, and allow some room for air to get in. And that's what I've done, and I've made probably 20 cups of coffee and I practiced 20 times with without a k-cup in there just to make sure that the system works and it's fine so make a cup of coffee if I have it set to whatever setting it is there and the important part is you can probably see the water going down and that noise, that's the pump. The noise is, is stopped until it's until it's filled the cup. And then you'll hear the pump go again. I hope you can. And it'll it'll add some more water to the reservoir to preheat. And there it goes. And before, when it tried to do that, it couldn't pull it because of the vacuum created within the reservoir, and the pump just spun. So it fixed my problem. I hope this helps. Have a good one.